Hello and welcome to FEM Expert. In today's tutorial, we're gonna show you how to perform the simulation of a Kentai lever beam with ANSYS Workbench utilizing space claim and beam type elements. So we're gonna start with the ANSYS Workbench module. For the first, for the beginning, we're gonna put a geometry module as a standalone, and then we're gonna link this geometry to a static structural simulation. We're going to do that just to have the things organized. It could be done here uh, also, but well, before we go to the geometry, what we're going to do is go into tools, options, geometry import, and you have to check it that you have the space claim direct modeler instead of the design modeler. It also depends on your license, but uh, if you have it like that, you just go ahead and double click under geometry. Once the space claim module is going to be open, well, basically, space claim is a very powerful 3D program. It was a different company until they merge or they collaborate with ANSYS. And I'm not going to explain too much about space claim. There's a lot of uh, tutorials out there, but I'm just going to explain the necessary processes to use beam type elements in simulation in ANSYS. So, what we're going to do first is going to get a beam, a cantilever beam. So we're going to go into the design sketch line. Here we're going to go into the origin of axis of origin. Hit once, then move the line along the z equals zero line. We may have to make sure that the 90 degree appears. So if you tilt it, it's going to be the angle is going to be different. We have to have it as 90 degree, and where it says uh, and. We just have the, the length, you can select the length, but for big length, it's easier just to type the value. So we're gonna type 1000 here, hit okay or hit enter, and then hit cancel to get out of the creating line uh, option. So this is gonna give us a 1000 millimeters or one meter line. And also we have to define the section. So to define the section, we had to go to uh, prepare here we go to profiles. We have standard libraries with different uh, the AC, AISC, and the Euro code. But we're going to have and so we're going to go and select the rectangular tube. This is going to be under beam profiles. We don't have to uh, uh, turn it on on the visual visualization. It's irrelevant. We just go to rectangular tube, double uh, right click, edit beam profile, and here we can see the dimensions of our profile. We're gonna use these dimensions, so we're just gonna hit, uh, uh, we're gonna close this tab. And now what we have to do is to tell this beam that it has that profile. So we go under create, and we select this beam. That will automatically assign that profile to this beam. If you want, if you have any doubt, you can plot this with the display solid beams and you'll see the half of this profile and the beam that's located in the middle of the profile. So once we have done that, we can minimize this and we have to go to the mechanical module by double clicking in model, which is the next step. And that's what we're going to do. And we're going to wait for it to be opened. So once the mechanical has been uh, opened, here we have uh, the space and the mechanical, the static structural mechanical lenses. Well, the new versions of the mechanical are really similar. They have some, um, they have slight modifications also basically on the aspect. The menus are more friendly and it looks much more similar to space claim or to the modern programs. So here we're gonna, in order to select the line, we have to have the edge filter. So you can see they only have one line in the whole project. Also, we can go here and see the geometry. We have the geometry that the rectangular beam we have the properties also like in our previous tutorial in the older version of uh, uh, mechanical on the, or the workbench. And uh, there's this new tab with material. We have by default a static uh, structural steel. And if we get into it, we can see some of the information of this uh, static structural steel, but uh, we're not going to get into this right now. We can look at the cross sections and we can see there's, the, there's this um, rectangular tube that the rectangular tube that we created is called HREC. These are the dimensions and well, everything is fine. We're gonna go straight to meshing and we're gonna right click and generate mesh straight away. So if you don't get this, uh, after you get you meshed, if you don't get this um, 
the representation, you have to go to display and choose the, uh, the option of thick shell and beams. So there you have the beam, and this way you have the virtual representation of the section. This can be very helpful to under uh, interpret the results and to verify that the dimensions of the profiles and stuff have been correctly assigned. So now we're gonna go to structure structural. I'm gonna take this option off so I can actually work easier with the model. And then I'm going to go to structure structural environment and here we're going to put the fixed low, the fixed support. So we're going to hit the vertex filter, choose this uh, point and assign fixed. So we have the fixed support and then we're going to go and select the loads, not the inertial, the standard earth gravity. We're going to put it on the Y direction, minus Y direction, and we're going to hit solve. Once the model has been has been solved, we have everything on green. We can go into solution and we can choose, for example, the deformation. I'm gonna hit yes. I'm gonna hit solve, and here we have the deformation for this situation under its own weight. We can go ahead and display and select the thick beam representation, and here we have the 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 values, the representation that we wanted. We can also make it slight, uh, small animation of it like we did it before in the in the previous um, tutorial also as you can see under the solutions under solution the strain and stress are not available but under the toolbox we have the beam tool that ha contains a series of different elements like the direct stress minimum combined and the maximum combined would be, would be the equivalent to the von Mises stress so also, before we finish, we're gonna do also, as in the previous tutorial, we're gonna show the beam results diagram. So we're gonna go here and put the shear and moment diagram. And it requires a path. The path here in this uh, ANSYS version is very similar to the other one. It's a little bit easier. You go to model, you choose ge construction geometry path, you, we're gonna define it not as two points, but as an edge. So here we have select the line, the the edge filter. We select the fill the edge, and we hit apply. Now we have this path. We can change the name of this path. We can do it with F2 or with rename. So we're gonna go to rename and say my path. And with this my path, we're gonna go into the total share moment diagram. Double click here. So my path is assigned as the path where this, this is going to look for the results. In the latest versions of ANSYS, sometimes there are uh, problems when we're trying to plot this total shear moment diagram. So I'm going to try to do the solve and we're going to see if it plots it right away. If not, we're going to try to close the program and close the, mo the mechanical module, reopen it and try to plot it again. There's a couple of ways of getting it around, but it's uh, sometimes the uh, latest versions of ANSYS have some issues. So here we have exactly, we try to get the moment diagram, it's not showing it to us. We have the results here, but it's not showing the same stuff that we would normally get. So we're gonna get close the mechanical and try to get it again by going to model again. Okay, so now I reopen the, the model and I'm going to go to total shear moment and diagrams. And here we have the diagram and uh, the shear moment, mom, the total bending, the total shear force and the total displacement diagrams as we wanted to have them. So this would be it for today's tutorial. We thank you for your attention. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please share our videos and like our channel and subscribe to it. Thank you for your attention.